a plasma ball watch and get your camper out of the water. Oh, it's supposed to go in the water. Well, okay. Be soft. Kevin here. This is Mind Blow. This Mario in a box game works by controlling a knob on the side of the box. And if you hit an enemy, a magnetic sensor triggers the box to close, ending the game. The level scrolls on a wheel, and it was built by League Labs. Find the link below on how to make and where to buy one. If iPad gaming with an old school flair is more your style, there's this new Atari Arcade dock. It's a sleeker and more affordable alternative to the iCade. Exploding Crossbow. A weapon that's less explodey and more puzzly is the Jenga pistol. The pistol was laser cut from 5mm acrylic and was inspired by this wooden one made a couple years ago. And you can actually find the Instructables link below. The world's largest ever balloon fight took place at the University of Kentucky and involved 8,957 people and 175,141 water balloons. And if they did it at Cornell University, they could have eaten some delicious printed food afterwards. Taking a scientific approach to food, they basically filled syringes with various flavors and textures, and then used a printer and software to print out the simulated food. Okay, a simulated Star Destroyer was recently created out of over 43,000 Legos. No glue or support structures were used, just a lot of Legos. Yeehaw! For Star Wars Origami Battle, there's this new ad from Moleskin Notebooks. Okay, look at this picture. Do you see the green and blue swirls? Well, that's interesting because they're actually the same color. Let's pull this picture into Photoshop if you don't believe it. See, these colors only appear different because of the effects of the surrounding colors on our eyes. Oh my god. Base jumping has never looked more epic than in this video with footage from Norway, Switzerland, and France. Finally, here's one guy's epic recreation of the Johnny Quest opening. And I'm gonna leave you with a $5 bill. Stack of pancakes. There are four clues in the description of this video. The first person to get all four correctly will be our genius of the week. So good luck. And as always, thanks for watching.